All right, welcome back to CBS News. Detroit, our Black Music Month celebration continues. And today we have musician Mr. Carl Wright here with us. Good morning, Carl. Thank you for being here. Nice, nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about your journey and how you've got to this point so far. Uh, lots of practice, lots of networking, um, just being around the right people at the right time, pretty much and just loving what you do. Yeah, so you, you're a drummer, for those of you who are not familiar with him. And tell us about some of the people that you've been able to play with. Um, I'm currently the drummer for the uh, Four Tops, um, Motown group, of course. Uh, I work with different, you know, artists, uh, Marvin Sapp and, you know, uh, Dorinda Clark Cole. Uh, and I also work in you know, with the schools and with the marching band stuff. I'm a band head. I went to Alabama State. Played in the band at Alabama State as well. Okay. Are you from Detroit? From Born and raised. From okay. Detroit. That's awesome. So what does Detroit music mean for you? Because we know that the music scene in Detroit has contributed to the entire world. Well, this is the home of Motown. It is Motown. So, and then that's what makes playing for the Four Tops such a great experience. It was like one of my dad's favorite groups is what I listen to in the house. You know, you can't have Christmas without Motown music. So it's just, it's an honor to be, you know, a part of that and to be able to influence others to play music as well. Mm -hmm. So is this something that you did like growing up? Were you one of those kids that was always beating on something? Oh man, while my mom was washing <laughs> dishes, I was beating on pots and pans and then my grandfather finally got me my first drum set, so. Awesome, okay, yeah. so I'd imagine you took that too with your HBCU experience and you played there? Yes, Alabama State University. Um, I was in the marching band, I played snare drum, but I also played mellophone as well. So um, coming back home, I go to different schools and work with the, uh, different students and work to get them scholarships so they can have the same experience. Oh, that's awesome. Also, what's really cool about that is the fact that you had this dream as a child and you were able to do that. Now you're on these big stages. Do you ever reflect on that? At all the time. I used to, when, when people come to my mom's house or my grandma's house, I had drums in the basement. So before you play cards or hang with my mom, you gotta come watch me perform. Cut the lights out. It's a whole show. Cut the lights out, put the uh, <laughs> flashlight on the table, and face the drums and act like I'm playing in front of thousands. And it's a dream come true because I'm playing in front of thousands of people all over the world now. Yeah. What kind of message would you say that sends to young people? Because, you know, sometimes you see kids doing stuff like that. They obviously discover passion. They're beating on furniture or whatever else. But now look at what you're doing with that. Stick with it. Um, as many times I wanted to quit because things weren't, weren't happening as fast as I wanted it to. But I had, you know, people around me like, man, keep doing it, keep doing it. You should do this, you should do that. Just keep keep at it. It's going to get rough, but if you really want it, you'll keep doing it. Let me ask you this, too. Even though you are obviously playing on a professional level, how often do you keep up with practicing? Because that's part of it, too, right? So, i be honest, I don't practice as much as I should because I perform a lot. So, but my repetition, um, I'm constantly learning, I constantly watch some of my best favorite musicians are in Detroit, so I watch them all the time and I learn different things from them. Okay, so if people are watching this and they want to follow you and keep up with you, keep rooting for you in your career as you move forward, how do they do that? Okay, I'm on uh, Instagram, Teddy357, and Facebook, Kyle Wright. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, kudos to you for having a dream, following it through. You're doing great things. We're so proud of you. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. All right.